Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions YouTube channel. This is episode 16. In this video, I will be taking apart my Sansui RA900 Reverb Amp. Now I have it plugged in. We'll turn it on. All you see right now is just the power indicator. But when I switch it to reverb, it turns this display on, which changes when I adjust the reverb knob. Unfortunately, it doesn't show up too well on camera. Now here we have the source, main source button, tape one, tape two, send from tape one to two, and from two to one. This one's for microphone guitar input, for adding reverb to that. It's on the front panel, control, input level, and microphone guitar switch. This is the mixing button, so all of the connections on the back, source, tape one, tape two, would go through the reverb. And then mixing record, which would send the reverb to tape one or tape two. Let's take a look at the back and look at all the connectors back there. So on the back here, we have our main source input and output, tape one input and output, tape two input output, and an electrical outlet, unswitched electrical outlet. And then there's a ground screw here. All right, so let's get inside and see what's going on in here. This uses a spring reverb. So we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get inside. Let's remove these screws here. And I'll come back once I get these screws out. All right, I have the screws out. Now, one more thing I want to point out here. There's a sticker here for 220 volts. Now, we're running on 120 volts here. I bought it used, so I'm not entirely sure of the history of it, but... Now, the label back here shows it can do an input of 100 volts, 120 volts, 220 volts, and 240 volts. So, we're going to take a look inside and see if we can figure out how it was converted. And we're in. Now, I have been in here before. I replaced the power light. And then these three lamps were out. Two of them were burned out. One of them was still working. They're actually 9-volt lamps, or supposed to be 9 volts. All right, so as you can see here, as I turn the knob on the front, those lights move back and forth. Let's get a close-up of the string and the routing of everything. It's kind of a neat mechanism, in my opinion. Just like an old radio. Here's the reverb. We're going to take this off and take a better look at it. So there should be a spring in there. All right, let's look at the power supply first. Above it here, we have some connectors or jumpers to select the different voltages. You can see the four different voltages listed here. Uh, that I stated earlier, 100, 120, 220, and 240. This was switched uh it probably was initially set up for 220 from the factory and then when it came to the u.s here it was switched at some point in its past i'm not entirely certain i do know that it's old and it's all single-sided through hole circuitry a couple of integrated circuits here This I believe to be the microphone preamp. And when you switch it over to guitar, it'll bypass that preamp. All right, now let's uh, take a look at this reverb here.
So I have to take out these four screws and the cover will come off. We'll see what's going on inside there. And here we go. And there's the two springs. And these look like a couple of voice coils, like on a speaker, and they would vibrate the spring, so you're gonna have your right and left channel. And then you have a pickup coil. So they're gonna combine the two channels together, so stereo in, mono out. So it comes in through these two coils, through the springs, and out through the pickup coil. And that'll give you that spring sound. As you can see, all that foam is starting to deteriorate. Now with this up and out of the way, you can see the switches down below. They're for selecting your input, tape one, tape two, source. So this side is where the reverb is going to. And on the other side is your source control or your record control. And that's pretty much all there is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.